Hello guys, a very warm welcome to my channel. It's Chuma here back with another video. And in today's video, I am reviewing the Camille Rose Naturals. I've had to do a review on this because of the epic failure. You guys have seen the not so twist out that turned into this puff, which to me, I'm like, Ugh. So if you guys wanna be able to see what I think about the Camille Rose Naturals, then stick around. I got the Camille Rose Naturals when I was on holiday in Denver, Colorado. I think I, I found it in Walmart. As you guys know, I've got the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love, which is the moisture milk. And this has rice milk and macadamia oil in it. I also got the Camille Rose Naturals Almond J Twisting Butter. And this is sweet almond milk and honey. And the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker Marshmallow and Argave Leaf Extract. You guys have seen my haul, so you know a little bit about these products already. Now, I've used the products before. I've used them on a flat twist out style. The link is above if you guys haven't checked that out. I used all of the three products that I've shown you and that was okay. I noticed a little bit of flakiness but I put it down to using all three products. And I thought this time around let me just use the moisture milk and the curl maker. And you guys have seen my epic fail. This is supposed to be my first twist out of the year. I wanted my twist to be banging fresh good to go for a new week at work especially and then I'm unraveling the twist and I'm just seeing flake 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 dot com I didn't know we had a forecast of snow today okay like what what I'm upset now I'm like okay did I use too much product is that the case but is there such a thing as using too much product if the products are supposed to go together and obviously where I noticed it before for the other look and I'm seeing it again now. And this time it was so much worse, guys. You guys have seen the video. I couldn't even salvage it. I've still got flakes in my hair right now. You guys can see I've still got like patches of white still in my hair. And I'm like, okay, so what am I supposed to do for work tomorrow? You can't do another wash day. So I've literally just been spritzing it with water, spritzing it with water. And obviously that's creating more shrinkage as I go along, but it's gonna have to do. Like I can't really do anything else with it. So I am just wondering, has anybody else out there use Camille Rose Naturals how have they used these products have these products worked for them because oh, for me it really is a no the thing is I'm really on a mission this year to stick to like particular brands for styles I want to minimize my mixing and matching and like if I'm gonna do one style just stick to the styling set for that particular brand and so I thought oh getting this set of the Camille Rose would actually help enforce that but I'm like why and you know guys it's so so frustrating when you have a hair fail it literally is like but why did this need to happen like not today today I'm this Sunday is a filming today is Sunday this I don't have time like where and then to go into work with, with flaky hair it's just not the one people just think you're suffering from dandruff like can't you get head and shoulders type of thing it's not nice it's not a nice feeling to have flaked up hair and for a product to be able to create that when it's really supposed to do the opposite because like even when I was untwisting the curls were so defined love the curls the curls were just popping they were like yes but then you start to notice this you know flake 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 they're expensive products they're not cheap products i think the three alone in walmart came up to about 60 dollars or something like that so it's not like oh you know you didn't pay that much for them so it doesn't matter if it doesn't work properly because of the, of the quality you pay a lot of money for these products sometimes and like for them not to work it's really really annoying really really annoying i love camille rose naturals as a brand overall i was so excited to get my hands on the products love the smell of the products they smell so lush I like the fact that the ingredients that go into the products are natural and they're quite different like they kind of mix and match playful ingredients to then be able to put a blend together but at the same time you kind of want these products to work for you another thing is like they don't really suggest what goes with what so in the directions for this for example it just says section soaking wet hair with fingers and distribute from root to tips of your hair re-wet sections that are drying finger style and let air dry is it the case where you're not supposed to 
use anything else with it. We know you can't really because you need that moisture in your hair. So I don't know how you can just use that on your own after you've freshly washed your hair. And then the Almond J Twisting Butter. This one's a little bit better. Apply butter to dry or wet hair and twist. Can also be used as a wash and go style for extra moisture and elongation. And then the Moisture Milk. I should say apply to dry or wet hair and style as usual. For best results use Camille Rose Naturals entire line of products. So this, they say, okay, you use the rest of the line of the products. So what I'm trying to understand is, okay, what combination works or doesn't work for them? Because clearly, like I've tried now, all three of them together, they obviously, like they somewhat work, but I noticed some flaking. This time around, I think because it was individual twists as well, as opposed to flat twists, it was even worse. I would have taken, honestly, absolutely hours to try and get this flakiness out of my hair. No one's got time for that right so I thought let me just film show you guys the epic fail and that's about it and then come back and actually talk about this and my frustration I was so excited I was on my Instagram stories you guys watched my wash day I did the styling so I got my medium sized twists in and I was all good to go for my twist out you woke up this morning had some breakfast you know when you're all set to have a good day and then your hair decides to do something else like so I had to just end up putting it in a high puff because like when in doubt, when all else fails, always high puff. So you just end up putting it in a high puff. But I'm really, really disappointed. You know, waste not what not. I will continue to try a combination or two, or maybe just with a leave-in conditioner and one of the products on its own. Definitely the moisture milk I will use as a leave-in. So that will be great to use on its own. Like say if I've just got my hair out and I just wanted to add a little bit of moisture to my hair, then definitely the moisture milk will come in handy. I will give the twisting butter another go. I will see what it does, either on its own with something else we'll see but in terms of the curl maker i do think that it's a combination of the jelly that's in there that's just something that's just not agreeing with my hair so i imagine that i probably won't be using this anymore i'm not sold on the curl maker i'm really really not sold on the curl maker so in terms of like final thoughts overall like i mentioned before i love camille rose as a brand and what they stand for it's a black owned business so i'm always down to support and i really was excited to get my hands on them now i finally have i feel like okay the moisture milk and the twisting butter work quite well, but I think the curl maker, the jelly, just like, Mm, no not so much so yeah guys that's it for me let me know if you guys have tried Camille Rose has it worked for you has it not what combination you guys have tried and maybe if there's a better way for me to be able to ensure that I get better twists outs with products that I'm using that would be greatly appreciated if you could comment below and let me know okay guys that is it for me I hope you've enjoyed this video for anybody who's checking me out for the very first time or you're returning and you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe down below that little red button that says subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also turn on the auto notification bell that way you know every single time I post a video and then you'll be all caught up and that's all you need to do all right guys until the next time thank you so much bye